Hi, this is CAD CAM Lessons Channel. In this video, I will show you the basic operations for creating 3D solids in FreeCAD using this simple example. We will create such a model based on a 2D drawing. During the creation of the model, I will refer back to this drawing. If you haven't subscribed to this channel yet, make sure to hit that subscribe button so you don't miss any new content. And if you'd like to support my work and treat me to a virtual coffee, you can find all the details in the description below. Thank you for your support. FreeCAD starts up with a start page and we will create this model in the part design module. You can begin working in this module by selecting it and creating a new file or by simply clicking on the parametric part button. Next we will start by creating a sketch. We will create a sketch in the top view of this part and create a base rectangle that we will then extrude to create a solid based on this rectangle. We will create a rectangle with dimensions of 60 by 40 millimeters. This is the rectangle in the top view. Then, based on this rectangle, we will create a solid by extruding the sketch to a height of 50 millimeters. OK, I'm moving on to this project. To create a sketch in the part design module, click the Create Sketch icon and then select the sketch plane. Let's choose the XY plane as the sketch plane, which is like looking from above. We will create a rectangle with dimensions of 60 by 40 millimeters. Select the rectangle drawing command. To draw a rectangle, we need to define two vertices of that rectangle. As for the location of the first vertex of the rectangle, we will link this vertex to the origin of the coordinate system. To do this, hover the cursor over this point, and when the point is highlighted, click the left mouse button. This has caused the corner of the rectangle to be linked to the origin point of the coordinate system, meaning these two points will be connected. Next, while drawing the rectangle, we can specify the dimensions of the rectangle. Along the x-axis, we enter 60 millimeters, then press enter, and along the y-axis, we enter 40 millimeters, and press enter. The sketch is complete. We close the sketch and based on this sketch we will create a solid by extruding the sketch by 50 millimeters. This will be done by the pad operation. Select this operation and here we define the length of the extrusion. Enter 50 millimeters and press enter to confirm. Next, based on the sketch we will remove material from the solid. We will remove material in this area and we will do this by creating a rectangle sketch on the side face. To create a sketch on the face of the solid, click on this face with the left mouse button so that it is highlighted. Now select the Create Sketch command. This face is the sketch plane, and here we will create a rectangle. It will be a rectangle measuring 40 by 40 millimeters. And this rectangle will be offset 10 millimeters from this corner along the x axis and along the y axis. Of course, this can be done differently, but at this point I want to show you the easiest way to do it. We select the Rectangle Drawing tool and draw a rectangle measuring 40 by 40 millimeters. OK. Right click to cancel the Rectangle Dimensioning command. Now we will define the distance of this corner of the rectangle from this corner. Select this corner, choose the Dimensioning command. Move the cursor in this direction. Click the left mouse button and here enter 10 millimeters and hit enter. The dimensioning command is still active so click the left mouse button on this point. Move the cursor in this direction. Click the left mouse button and here enter 10 millimeters. Press enter. Now we close the sketch and based on this sketch we will remove material from the solid. This will be done by the pocket operation. Select this operation and here we can specify the depth of the pocket. Let's enter 40 millimeters here and in this way we have removed material from the solid. Next we will create this hole. We will draw a circle with a diameter of 15 millimeters and similarly we will remove material from the solid. To do this we select this face, click create sketch and here we will draw a circle with a diameter of 15 millimeters. Select the circle drawing command, then we define the center point of the circle. Click anywhere, roughly here, 
and then enter 15 millimeters as the diameter of the circle and press enter. Now right click to cancel this command. As in the previous case, we will define the dimensions of this point from this point. Choose the dimensioning command, click on this point, move the cursor in this direction, click the left mouse button and here enter 35 millimeters. Press enter. The dimensioning command is active, so again click on this point, move the cursor to this place, click the left mouse button, and here enter 20 millimeters, press enter. The sketch is complete, we close the sketch, and based on this sketch we will create a pocket in this solid. Select the pocket operation. And here, as before, we can define the depth of this pocket so that the hole goes through the entire solid or we can use one of the pocket types. We have the through all type here, which will automatically cause the pocket to be made through the entire solid, and this hole will be through. As for rotating the solid, I did that by pressing the mouse wheel. This way I could rotate the solid and I click OK to confirm. The next thing is to add fillets to the corners. We will create fillets with a radius of 15 millimeters here. To do this, we select the fillet command. At this moment, don't worry about that warning. We select the edges we want to fillet. We select these four edges. We enter 15 millimeters as the radius value. Click the left mouse button outside this field and click OK. This way, with these few simple steps, we created this solid. In this example, I was able to show you the basic operations for creating a three-dimensional solid in FreeCAD. The first operation is Pad, which allows you to create a solid from a sketch, and the second operation is the Pocket operation, which allows you to remove material based on a sketch. These are the two basic operations for creating 3D solids in FreeCAD, and as you can see, while creating a 3D model, we can combine these operations. This is how we can build 3D models in FreeCAD. We simply build a 3D model step by step. We will finish here. Thanks for watching and please subscribe to this channel.